You know I love rumors, and the rumor has it is that Nintendo has a Direct in just a few days on April 11th. This is very exciting, so I decided, hell, why not make a prediction video, because you know I love prediction videos. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Here's what I think we're going to see at this Nintendo Direct. First, I want to get the obvious stuff out of the way. I think they're going to talk about Astral Chain a little bit and show us some real gameplay instead of just the trailer that they gave us. I want to see some real combat. How is this game going to play? Is it going to be co op so many questions. It looks beautiful. It looks like there's going to be open areas, which is really exciting. And it looks like this game is really pushing the Switch hardware, which is also super awesome. So I think we're going to see a lot of Astral Chain. But along with that, I think we're also going to see Super Mario Maker 2. That game comes out really soon. Like, it's right around the corner. I can't even remember the date. I'll put it on the screen right now. But it is very soon. So they got to tell us a little bit about it before we move on to the next thing, you know? So I think, I think those are going to be the main two games that they're going to show off because they're both coming this year, which is crazy. We're already getting Astral Chain. I feel like it was just announced and it looks fantastic. And of course, Super Mario Maker, we figured it was going to happen and it finally did. We're getting Super Mario Maker 2 and it looks like it adds all the stuff that the original was lacking, which both of those games just look absolutely incredible. So I want to move on to the stuff that I think is a bit crazy that I would predict, but hell, you never know. Maybe I'll actually end up being right. So next up is the announcement of SNES games on the Nintendo Online subscription service. Now we know that there's an image of an SNES NES controller inside of the Switch already that matches the NES controller that's a part of the online subscription. That pretty much hints at SNES games coming very soon, and I think it's obvious. Nintendo has to keep this thing going, they have to keep people interested, and they're not going to do that with just having online functionality. I think they have to keep giving us awesome games, and if they step up to the SNES next, I think that's a really big deal, because it could lead to greater things like the N64 and the GameCube. I would love to get all the platforms on this online subscription service, and that's the way I think they're going to do it this time around. I don't think there's ever going to be a virtual console in the traditional sense that we know of. I think from here on out it's going to be the subscription service, whether we like it or not, and they're going to keep adding games to it and hopefully not taking any away, because if they just keep adding to this and it actually ends up being this huge selection of games that you get for a very cheap price, I think that's a really big deal. And I can't imagine anyone who wouldn't subscribe if we're getting NES games, SNES games, GameCube, N64, all the handheld consoles. They could do so much with this, and I hope they actually end up doing it. Now, next up, I think they're finally going to give us the release date for the Joker DLC for Super Smash Brothers. It's been a long time since we've heard about that. They announced Joker back in December and now it's April, which is absolutely crazy that we haven't heard anything else. And that's also why I think that not only are we going to get this Joker release date, but they're also going to tell us the next character of the Smash Brothers Battle Pass. Now I have a few predictions that I think are not very likely, but I want to say them just in case they actually end up being right. And those characters are 2B from Nier Automata. I think that game is going to end up coming to Switch and it would really do well on Switch, a Japanese title like that. So I think we might get 2B along with that. I think it's possible, very unlikely, but maybe possibly either going to get Banjo or the Minecraft guy. I think he's called Minecraft Steve. I can't remember his name. We're going to get one of those characters from Microsoft. Nintendo and Microsoft have been getting along so well and Banjo is just an obvious choice. He was such a big name on the N64 and now Microsoft owns the IP. They haven't done anything with it barely since then. So why not give us Banjo as part of the Smash Brothers roster? I think that would be so cool. And then there's Minecraft Steve, which I wouldn't really care about, but that character does make a lot of sense. Yes, it's owned by Microsoft, but we already have Minecraft on Switch, which is very popular, a super popular game. I think it's like the second best selling game of all time or something like that. So Minecraft Steve and Smash Brothers just is obvious. I'm surprised we haven't gotten it already. Now I have a few more predictions and this one I think is going to be a huge deal if it actually ends up happening. Now keep in mind, I don't think all these things are going to happen, but I think if a few of them do, then it could be a really big deal. But anyway, I think Animal Crossing 2019, I don't know what the name is yet, but I think we're going to finally get a name. We're going to get gameplay information. I think they might dive deep into the details of this Animal Crossing game. And I just cannot wait. This is a game that I've been waiting for for so long. New Leaf came out in what, 2012, 2013? It's been like over six or seven years, which is absolutely insane. And I just want to see what this game is. I think it's going to be adorable. I think it's going to be beautiful. I'm hoping that they, they upgrade the graphic style a little bit. And I just, I, get, I just cannot wait to have my jaw drop. I really trust this development team because they've never failed this before. Now, there was City Falk, which disappointed a lot of people, but I thought it was still pretty good. But yeah, Animal Crossing 2019, they already said the game is coming out this year. So they have to tell us something soon. Come on, Nintendo. 
Nintendo, just make it happen. Now my big pie in the sky prediction isn't actually that big of a pie in the sky prediction. I think that the rumors that happened a few weeks ago, or maybe about a week ago, about the Metroid Prime Trilogy and Zelda Link to the Past coming to the Switch are legit. Now with the Metroid Prime Trilogy, I think it's all going to be on one cartridge. It's going to be basically just an up of the Wii and GameCube games. I don't think these games are going to be super enhanced in the graphics department. They might enhance the lighting a little bit, up res them to a higher resolution. They're not going to look as jagged as they were on GameCube and Wii, which I think is perfectly fine. Those games are still going to be a lot of fun on Switch, regardless of what they look like. Now, with The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, is this going to be like Link's Awakening? Are they going to graphically overhaul the whole thing? I don't think it's that likely. I think that this just might be an HD port, yes, with the sprites, with the 2D animations. I think this just might be an HD port on the Nintendo Switch that doesn't really do anything special in the graphics department, but maybe has a few extra bonus features that are exclusively on the Switch version. Now, what could those features be? I have no idea, but honestly, they don't really have to do much to that game. It still looks great. It's still an amazing game. And just putting that game on Switch with a physical version, because a lot of people love their physical media, I think just putting one of the best Zelda games of all time on a cartridge is enough to make fans happy. So is the game going to be this huge overhaul like Link's Awakening? I doubt it, but hell, you never know. But that's all my predictions guys be sure to let me know what yours are down in the comments section below do you think this nintendo direct is real if it's not then let's move all these predictions to the next direct which we know is probably going to be sometime in the next few weeks but either way that's all my thoughts let me know down in the comments i'll talk to you guys later